Hello, I'm Bettina Cornwell, and this is Sponsorship in Marketing, and we'll be talking about measuring sponsorship outcomes. So uh, as foundation, let me say that brands are typically sponsors, um, Nike, Toyota, and we're talking about uh, sponsored properties, such as uh, sports, arts, events, and we refer to them as properties because they are property rights holders and they negotiate uh, to sell those rights uh, to the brand and sponsorship. Okay, so if we're going to measure outcomes, we have to start with objectives. We'll just look at some common ones. Uh, ROI, ROO, and ROE. So ROI, you're familiar with that. We're looking at return on investment. We're typically looking at something like sales. We might also be looking at uh, advertising like um, a value. So oops, advertising like, not really advertising. Um, so exposure in, uh, in, a, in a venue of the brand, of the logo. It's like advertising, but it isn't advertising. Uh, ROO, oftentimes we're looking at image or perhaps a lift in brand awareness. Yeah, so I have an objective of improving image or um, I have an uh, objective of improving brand awareness. Hmm, let me get that right for us. <laughs> Oops, there we go, okay. Brand awareness um, and then a return on um, experience or engagement when the brand is doing something perhaps at the event on site and people get to go to a booth and experience the brand or perhaps that um, individuals online interact with the brand in some way um, that's when the consumers are engaged oh. so who does this measurement the property um, may be uh, the one measuring So the property oftentimes is measuring the sponsorship outcomes and providing that to the sponsor in something called a recap. So that's at the end of the year oftentimes uh, and you, you maybe a bit backward looking, um, but it's information that they have collected from say their season ticket holders or from their donors or something like that and they're providing it to the sponsor. It may include uh, information about the sponsor. We also have um, the sponsor uh, collecting information that may be a proprietary uh, instrument that they use and they collect the information uh, and uh, don't share it with the property. I'd say that the best partnerships actually take the information and share it between the property and the sponsor. Oftentimes this is in the form of surveys. Yeah. And then lastly, there are Commercial suppliers of information. And commercial suppliers, uh, you can pay for the kinds of services they offer. A property might buy uh, services from the commercial supplier or the sponsor might. And uh, it, it's a matter of how that's organized between the two of them. Um, the important point is we have someone measuring and we have a method approach uh, and those vary greatly. We'll look at a few of those. So we have what we would, might think of as a, a PR approach, public relations. Here the um, focus is usually on measuring um, the brand logo and it began with a company called Joyce Julius in, in auto racing and so they were measuring a, a, a car going around a venue and measuring the amount of time, a second or two or a half second, that the logo of the brand was exposed. And then they calculate what they call AVE, advertise equi Advertising Equivalency Measure. And so this advertising, advertising equivalency, um, that's really capturing if I were to buy 30 minutes of, or 30 seconds of programming and that were to be valued as a, as a commercial, then what would that be worth if I were getting that 30 seconds as a sponsor? So I compute the advertising equivalency measure. 
Um, another approach is really a marketing approach. And oftentimes that is a survey-based approach, asking questions about recall, about recognition of a brand. Uh, there are a number of things that might be included. And lastly, we have what everyone's talking about, analytics. So this is um, big data. This is um, unstructured data, perhaps. So they're bringing together video and maybe text and analyzing that in, a, in an entirely different approach. So those are the sorts of things we see in terms of measuring. This is for an individual uh, sponsorship outcome. So one property being measured, but if I'm a brand that's invested in sponsorship, I would probably have a portfolio of a number of different things, sports, arts, uh, cause. And so we have to think about this as feeding into an evaluation process. Okay, in the evaluation process, I'm going to have um, a number of brands in the portfolio, and I'm thinking about performance across brand, I'm sorry, across sponsorships. So in that brand portfolio, maybe I have four or six or ten, and I have to ask myself if that thing is going to work in the end, what kinds of objectives did each of the uh, individual properties have? And then how am I going to evaluate to decide which one did well for the brand, which to keep, what to change? And therefore, I need to ask myself early on, before the evaluation process, what kinds of measures will I include? Because if I have the same type of measure for all of them, my comparison might be easier. That may not be what we eventually want to do. There are a number of objectives that can come from sponsorship, and some of them are not comparable. But we have to think about that in advance. Okay, this is sponsorship and marketing, and thank you.